2019 is the year of 5G, at least that's what we're being told. It's certainly the beginning of 5G. We're not gonna get wrapped up in how 5G works or what it means or what anything it's gonna do, we just know it's gonna be fast. So what do you do when you want to get 5G as soon as possible? You wanna know about what phones are available. Well, a few have been announced and we're gonna have a really good look at them right now. If you're gonna count down 5G smartphones, you might as well start with the big one. This is the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G, and it's big in absolutely every way. This is a 6.7 inch screen. That's bigger than the Galaxy Note 9. It's fairly wide. It's absolutely enormous on the back because it's got all of those cameras plus depth sensors for augmented reality. All these other things that 5G is going to make possible. It comes in a variety of lovely colors, silver, titan silver, and gold. Really fantastic looking smartphone. This uses Samsung's Infinity O screen. And it's called that because it has a oblong punch hole at the top here. This contains a 10 megapixel camera and a 3D depth sensor. So again, lots of augmented reality fun when you're connected to a 5G signal. Naturally, inside is a Snapdragon 855 processor. That's what gives this its speed. And it comes with a Qualcomm 5G modem to give it that super fast connection in the future. That is our first phone, the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. Staying with Samsung, this is its other 5G phone, the Galaxy Fold. I'm pointing because no one's got this out of this glass case yet. Shame. It's really exciting. Not only does the body fold in a way that we've not seen with smartphones before, but it comes with a 7.3 inch unfolded screen. It's got a Snapdragon 855 processor. It's got 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's got many, many cameras. This is one of the most exciting phones we've seen, and we've only seen it. This is gonna come very, very soon with 5G, and it's gonna cost you $2,000. Moving on, we're now at LG. This is the LG V50 ThinQ 5G. It's a little bit smaller than the Galaxy S10. This has got a 6.4 inch screen, but again inside is Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor. On the back, there are three camera sensors, a flash unit, a fingerprint sensor. And this body is still quite thick, but a little bit more manageable than the enormous Galaxy S10 5G. When's this coming? LG's not saying. It's gonna come at some point this year, presumably when we've got a 5G network to connect it to. Now we come to probably the most exciting 5G phone we've seen so far, the Huawei Mate X. Again, inside a glass case, but we have actually got to feel this, and it feels fantastic. There's three screens on this phone, 6.6, the 6.4, and unfolded a massive eight inch screen inside are two batteries to keep this running. And crucial to it all is a 5G connection. That runs with Huawei's own modem and its Kirin 980 processor. This is going to come in the near future, within the next few months, and we cannot wait to see it more. If you want one, save up, because it's going to be at least $2,600. Our next 5G phone is this the ZTE Axon 10 Pro 5G. They're all gonna be a problem, these names, have you noticed that? This has got a 6.4 inch screen, and inside, once again, is Qualcomm's Snapdragon 855 processor. That, alongside with Qualcomm's 5G modem, gives this its special ability to connect to that wonderful 5G network when it finally arrives. The back is very attractive. There's a 48 megapixel camera in the back here that we're seeing on many phones this year and we're very impressed by it. This is the ZTE Axon 10 Pro 5G. That will also be appearing later on this year. Out of all the 5G phones we've seen so far, this is actually the one we know the most about. It's the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 5G. We know when it's coming, and that's in May. We know how much it's going to cost, that's 600 euros, which converts over to somewhere around $680. However, it's not going to be available in the US. 
Again, like all the rest, this is powered by the Qualcomm 855 processor with the X50 modem inside. The only other additions to the Mi Mix 3 over the standard Mi Mix 3 is this got a larger battery capacity. That's 3,800 milliamp hours. You still get the best party trick of the Mi Mix 3, which is that wonderful slide down camera at the top. This could be one of the very, very first 5G phones that you'll be able to buy. And you know how much to save up too. You're up to date. You know about all the 5G phones that have currently been announced. When they're coming, that's a different question. Whether they'll connect to a 5G network where you live, that's also another question. We won't worry about that. If you want a 5G phone this year, you're probably going to be buying one of the ones we've just seen. So you're all caught up with 5G smartphones announced so far in 2019.